So this section is known as sequences and series. And series um, is when you have the entries of your sequence being added together. Okay, so if instead of writing um, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on and so forth, you're actually doing 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20. Okay, then the first one is a sequence, the second is a series. And in this video, we're going to be looking at arithmetic series. And we're going to generate a formula that will allow us to add up um, a certain sect, a set of arithmetic series very quickly. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, is write down what an arithmetic series looks like. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with A, because that's the first term. And then the second term is A plus D. So I'm going to write that down as A plus D. Okay. And then the third term, well, that's going to be A plus D plus D. So A plus 2D. Okay. And this is going to go on and on and on. Okay. All the way up to, eventually, you're going to get to... Uh, the last term of the arithmetic series, okay, which we're going to call L, L for last, okay? So L is the last term. But before that, we would have had um, the last term take away the common difference, okay? So one common difference less than the last term. So this would have been L minus D. And the one before that would have been the last term take away two lots of the common difference. Okay, so working backwards. So this, um, if I'm saying that I'm adding up the first term up to the 50th term, then this is what it would look like in general. Okay, so if I then write underneath exactly the same uh, series, but in reverse order, okay, then what I have would be L, and then I would have L minus D, and then I would have L minus 2D, and so on and so forth, and then I would have A plus 2D, and then I would have A plus D, and then finally, I would have A. OK, so all I've done is I've written exact, out exactly the same series. I've just reversed the order. OK, so what we're going to do is we are going to add these two series together. So we're going to add them up. And we're going to get A plus L. And over here, we're going to get A plus D plus L minus D. So the Ds will actually cancel each other out. And I'll just be left with A plus L. Here, I've got 2D minus 2D, so the 2Ds cancel each other out. And I'm going to be left with A plus L. So can you see where this is going? Each term that I get in this series will actually be just A plus L. So how many uh, A plus L's do I have? Well, if I had, if I was going from the first term to the last term, and there were n terms in the series, then I have n lots of A plus L here. Okay, so this is n lots of A plus L. But because I wrote down the same series twice and added them together, I've actually got twice as much as what I need. So, in actual fact, the sum of the first n terms, okay, of an arithmetic series is one half of n a plus l. 
And this is the formula that we need. Okay? This tells me what uh, a series adds up to. Now, that is given to you in the formula booklet. And it is very useful, but it has one uh, major drawback. And that is that we have to know what L is. We have to know what the last term is in order to use it. So it has this drawback that we can actually get around because we can modify this formula. So I'll rewrite it up here. We're going to modify it. So 1 half n a plus l so that it is more useful. Because really, it would be nice to be able to write this formula in terms of A and D. Because if I have a series, I can easily identify what the first term is and what the common difference is. Okay? So it would be nice if I could get this in terms of A and D rather than A and L. Now, we have, um, as a formula already, that the nth term is a plus n minus 1d. OK? So for a certain n, for that last term, OK, the last term will be given by the first term plus the last term, well, the last uh, entry, take away 1, times d. OK? So that means I can replace l with this. So I can replace the L with A, well, replace the L, sorry, with A plus N minus 1 D. That is the last term in the series. Now, what we have here is 1 half N, A plus A is 2A, plus N minus 1 D. And it is these two formulas, so Sn is 1 half n a plus l, and Sn is 1 half n 2a plus n minus 1d, that are both given to, both given to us in the formula booklet. Okay? This one is more useful because I more regularly have the first term and the common difference, but if I know what the last term is, then it's pretty straightforward to use that one instead, okay? And I'm going to show you some examples of this in the next video.